welcome back to my channel so i am gonna introduce you another suv under this uh, lun 2 or voya lineup so they have got a new sedan which i have already made a video and this is their dreamer it's a big mpv and they have got another suv so this is the voya free it's a five seater in two different rows so let me show you the rear first at the top, we got a radio antenna, which is functional. And also, we got a full tail lights. It looks amazing. And here is, they're showing the Voya. And this is your 360 degree camera. So it's a plug in hybrid version. It also has got 1.5 liter turbo engine, along with 39 kilowatt battery pack. The vehicle has got one exhaust in that side, in the left side, which is functional. So let me open the cargo. Here is the twist. So if you want to open the cargo, so you have to freeze this button to open it. It's a hydraulic cargo. And we will get 560 liters storage capacity at the back, which is good enough. It's a five seater SUV. But if you down the second row, it will be 1,200 liter. And we got some lights in the cargo. So if you open the cargo in a dark place, there is no problem at all. Also, we can carry some tools over here so it's like a bit hidden so it's a hydraulic cargo if I press this button then it will be closed now let's come to this side so here is your charging port uh, the vehicle has got 39 kilowatt battery pack. So there are two charging ports. If you use the slow charging port, it will take seven to eight hours. And if you use the fast charging port, then it will take uh, 25 minutes. It also has got the pop-out door handles. So the height of the vehicle is 1.6 meter. The length is 4.9 meter. And the wheelbase is 2.9 meter. Front wheel distance, 1.9 meter. Rear wheel distance, also 1.9 meter. Ground clearance, it will be around 30, 30 centimeter. It doesn't have the air suspension. So look, there, it has got so many chromes all over in the body and chassis. Here, these are the pop-up door handles. It's not the electric one. Let me check the wheels and tire. Here we got the Michelin tire with 20 inch wheels. And your tire size will be 255 by 45 R20. Let's check it out here. Here we also got some cameras with the side mirrors. There are a batch of over here. So if we come to the front, look at the front design. So this is a brand new vehicle, just came to the market. And look at the front here, we got a big full LED daytime and running light and this will be visible in day and night. Also, we got a 360-degree camera just at the top of the logo. Here is a functional grill because the vehicle has got 1.5-liter turbo engine. So it also has got the LED headlight, LED daytime running light, LED high beam and low beam. And here, we got a little bit of space at this part so the air can flow in this way and it will give you a better aerodynamic performance. So let me open the engine bay. If I want to open the engine bay, I have to open it in this way. Where is it? So here is the hook. So as I mentioned before, it's a plug-in hybrid version. So look at the engine bay. It's the hidden one. It has got 1.5 liter turbo engine. Your total power output will be 360 kilowatt along with 720 newton meter of torque zero to 100 it will take 4.8 second let me close this part so if we come to the left side of the vehicle so i have mentioned the height and the length of the vehicle it's almost the length of the vehicle is 4.9 meter height is 1.6 meter and the wheelbase is 2.9 meter. 
So here we also got some camera with the side mirror. This is your pop-up door handles. Here is your fuel tank. So you can carry 56 liter fuel and your fuel cost will be 6.9 liter per 100 kilometer. So as I mentioned before, it also has got 39 kilowatt battery pack. So if you use the 39 kilowatt battery pack, your CLTC range will be around 213 kilometer. And there are 1.5 liter turbo engines, so your total CLTC range will be around 1,200 kilometer. Now let me show you the interior. So these are the basic leather. It's not the Napa or Alcantara. Here we got some buttons. So it's a lefty seat. You can activate your seat eating seat buses. Also, you can move the seat through those switches. So look at the color combination. To be honest, I prefer that uh, like this and um, that plug-in heavy seat and. and the MPV rather than this one because it doesn't give you that expensive feelings at all. The price is not cheap, it's around 35,000 US dollars. So, look at the interior here. We got PVC leather in the dashboard. Also, we have, got, uh, we have got three screens at the front, so this is for your entertainment purpose. Here, you can from this screen you can activate your seat eating seat masters these are all showing in chinese but for global market you will get in english even the language can be changed but it's difficult for me to figure it out here it can be changed i have used it before so you can activate your seat eating seat masters through this screen we also have got uh, the voice command and this is another screen over here so here basically you can see the speed of the vehicle and the CLTC range so here we got the hazard button there are some other buttons as well so you can even change the mode from here you can drive this vehicle into three different modes normal eco sport and here we got two S events at the middle there is a compartment box at this place. Also, we have got one S event at the left. And look at the doors. These are all the soft materials, soft leather. It's not the Napa or Alcantara one. And here we got the leather string wheels, which is adjustable, so you can adjust it through this way, like this way. And we got so many uh, switches over here so the, it also has got the voice command you can press here and command him where you can receive the phone call also we can uh, increase and decrease the volume through those buttons and here you see so here are some switches and if I come to this side so there are some switches over here here basically you can no. Wow. Even it can be, you know, it can be off and down. So look. Now the screen is I'm making it bigger. Okay, so this is amazing. You know, from this piece, you can even make this part bigger or smaller. So here you can charge your phone. There are two cup holders at this place. Also, we got a small box with your armrest. So, here we got some space. You can keep some of your stuff over here. And if we see at the top, so here we got a mirror. We got a mirror, and also we got a light with the mirror. And the, this is the same design we used to see in other lineup and there is a big panoramic sunroof so if you want to open it you can open it through here so, so you can cover and also you can open and look here are some buttons so now you can open the, your sunroof 
so you can do, do it through those buttons. So these are all the electric seat. You can activate your seat eating seat passes. Now we go to the second row and check it out. So here how to open it. You can just press like this. Like this and open it. So let's see what we get in the second row. It looks pretty dark. So I got enough leg space, enough head space, there is no problem at all. Here we got a screen. So from this screen you can listen the music. And what else we can do from here? Maybe from this screen you can also activate your seating seat masses. Look. So here maybe change check it. So you can activate it. Light show, you can select different lights through here. <laughs> It would be great if you can change the languages. Uh, here we get two S events at this point. And there are the sound speakers. So if let me down I got two cup holders with the armrest. So it's a no good looking, not I will say the it's bad but it's pretty good it's pretty good you see so you will get enough space and it looks great from the interior but I prefer that sedan and their MPV one because those are more likely than this one so the price of the vehicle is uh, around 250k Chinese RMB, which is around 35,000 US dollar. It's not cheap at all. So as I mentioned before, it has got a 1.5 liter turbo engine along with 39 kilowatt battery pack. And you can carry 55 liter fuel, then your total CLTC range will be 1,200 kilometer. And if you use 39 kilowatt battery pack, then your CLTC range will be 250 or 260 kilometer 0 to 100 it will take uh, six seconds it's not that fast so it's a good mid-size family SUV I'll try to introduce you more vehicle in the future keep supporting me to subscribe my channel until then bye bye